I am your not Justin, and I get up early for this kind of thing, dude. Literally so early, I got up, and I'm just so excited to announce that Deadeye, formerly known as Deadeye, Chamber has now been added into the game. And real quickly here, I'm going to list off all of his abilities. He has Trademark, an active called Headhunter, a teleport ability called Rendezvous, and what I believe to be an ultimate ability, Tour de France. But before I reveal any more about Chamber, I would like to thank today's sponsor. Opera GX is a browser for your mobile phones and for your desktops, and it was engineered specifically to be for the gamer. I recently switched my main browser to Opera GX because it features a lot of really great stuff, like this sidebar that has tons of features. In an instant, you can have access to Twitch, Discord, and Facebook Messenger, which is directly built into Opera GX, unlike other browsers where you have to download a lot of extensions for a lot of very basic things. Opera GX comes with a CPU and RAM limiter, which is way easier to run than other browsers, and uses up to three times less CPU and memory. Opera GX even includes a network limiter that allows you to control your upload speed and your download speed, so you don't throttle your performance. Opera GX also includes a built-in music player that includes Apple Music, SoundCloud, Spotify, Tidal, and YouTube Music directly into the browser. And it even comes with a built-in ad blocker that you can enable off and on, so that way you can choose who you want to support with ads. And all of this is as customizable as you want it to be. You can change the color and the sounds and all of the extensions for your preferred browser needs. So what are you waiting for? Download Opera GX today for your desktop browser or for your mobile device by clicking the link in the description or by downloading the app for your Android or iPhone. I recommend it. Brim, we aren't alone here. How about you start talking? So there is a really cool announcement trailer too that has animations and this really cool song that plays in it. If you'd like to watch it, just go to the official Valorant YouTube channel and you can see the entire animation. But let's unpack everything and I will try to explain everything that we know as best as I can for you, okay? We now know that Deadeye is no longer called Deadeye and is called Chamber. This is likely due to Deadeye being a testing name. Things that haven't hit the live servers that are still being tested and still being worked on often have different like kind of industry type names. It will be given names in their data files as such. I personally think that Chamber is a really great name. And it makes sense for Chambers abilities. We are going to break down Chambers abilities again and lightly explain them. Sorry to let you duelists out there know, Chamber is a sentinel. So there will be no zipping across the map or leer orbs or anything like that. And Chamber may very well be the most powerful sentinel that is in the game. I would argue that once the pros and the higher ranked people get their hands on Chamber, that this character will be absolutely busted, but only time will tell that. So abilities, the name Chamber. Chamber as in the chamber of a gun, Chamber as in like, you know, you're in a chamber. These are incredibly important keynotes for this. Chamber seems to take inspiration from several different Sentinels, all kind of wrapped up into one. So I want to first start with this ability, which I assume is going to be their ultimate ability. I mean, I hope it is. They literally spawn in an operator. It's not quite an operator, but it is a sniper rifle that does one shot. This ability is just ultra insane. The animations and skin for whatever that gun is, is amazing. It's like a bolt action. And as a matter of fact, this gun even kind of sounds like the operator. Let's listen. So again, that was Tour de France. Activate to summon a powerful custom sniper rifle that will kill an enemy with a direct hit. Killing an enemy creates a lingering field that slows players caught inside of it. So to simplify this, he spawns at a sniper rifle. It one shots and every time he gets a kill, it essentially like sage slow orbs them. Busted, dude. As you can see here, this ability, not the pistol, which we are going to get to, but actually the teleport, up to this point, which has been a duelist ability, that is Rendezvous. Place two teleport anchors while on the ground and in range of an anchor. Reactivate to quickly teleport to the other anchor. Anchors can be picked up to be redeployed. Again, this is just ultra busted. I said earlier that this takes a lot of inspiration from a lot of other Sentinels, but this just takes a lot of inspirations from a lot of different characters in this. Chamber is essentially the ultimate Sentinel duelist combination. This ability is Headhunter. You can see that he pulls out a heavy pistol. This is honestly the one that I'm the most concerned about. I am not a competitive player, but just on paper, this seems like something that's going to be extraordinarily busted. Any character that can hurt you without having to buy is extraordinarily powerful in this game. Good examples would be Jet, Sova, Killjoy, kinda. 
but you get the point. A character that doesn't need to necessarily buy or spend a lot of credits on like a Vandal or whatever it may be, that's a utility that is going to be very important. We don't know what the abilities cost just yet, but if it is a heavy pistol, we can assume that maybe it's going to do as much or in the ballpark damage of the Sheriff. The Sheriff is the most powerful pistol in the entire game, no cap, and that costs 800 credits. So depending on how much credits this costs and the amount of damage and output that it actually has, this could be super overpowered, but we'll see. It's going to be at a minimum super crazy. And to read the ability for you, it is Headhunter. Activate to equip a heavy pistol. Alt fire with the pistol equipped to aim down the sights. A sheriff that you could aim down the sights with. Who needed this, dude? <laughs> and for this last ability, Trademark. Place a trap that scans for enemies. When a visible enemy comes in range, the trap counts down and then destabilizes the terrain around them, creating a lingering field that slows players caught inside of it. This one ties into what the ultimate ability will also do. I'm still not completely sure what this actually means, and the trailer didn't really have any gameplay for it. I assume it's just going to be like Sage's Slow Orb, but in the form of a trap. So Cypher puts down tripwires, you run into them, and then you, you know, get stunned if you don't destroy it. We don't know if any of his utility is actually going to be able to get destroyed or not. Like his teleport, similar to Yoru's, can't be destroyed maybe, who knows. And with this trap... Depending on how it's activated and what it actually physically looks like in the game, we'll see if it can be destroyed. But again, I think that when it's placed down, somebody runs into it and it essentially just Sage slow orbs you. I could be completely wrong on this, don't quote me. We will see when this comes out. But again, another just really powerful ability added to the game. This character can teleport, they have traps, they slow, they can do damage with just their abilities, and they have an ultimate ability that one shots. This character is the ultimate sentinel duelist and i'm really excited for it because characters that have been added into the game you know like reyna for instance like i would say that reyna is the ultimate arcade style character just an incredibly fun character that you can just anybody can equip at any time and you can just kind of go crazy you blind people you get a limbs and then you heal or ghost mode out or you do both like that is just if you wanted to just simply frag people like you're playing an arcade shooter reyna is the go-to character and I feel that with Chamber being added into the game, Chamber will be the go-to character to sort of kind of stop that sort of sentiment. And I'm really excited for it. Chamber could very well be the duelist killer, but only time will tell that. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are as hyped as I am. I love you. Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Click the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single video ever, even if there's a fire. And yeah, as always, I'm Justin and you're not. I'll see you in the next one.